Peace, peace, peace. Welcome to the Scrap and Roll MMA Podcast. I'm your host, Sky. We got your host, Jace, and CJ in the building. Uh, you know, shout out to Damien. He's not on, but hopefully he'll be on next week and we can have, you know, all four of us on here for the pay-per-view. But with that being said, we are here now. Um, we are going to jump right into who's done it better. Who's done it better? My new favorite category. My new favorite topic. On this week of who's done it better, on one side, we have the diamond, Dustin Poirier, the raging Cajun himself. On the other side, are you ready for this guy? I'm ready. <laughs> we got your boy, Six Island in the building, the blessed one, the BMF, Max Bless Holloway. Let's talk Choo-choo. about it. Let's I talk mean, about it. I feel like just off top, if this is your first time seeing the podcast, uh, I am extremely biased uh i'm a homer i see no wrong in max holloway if number one you know what whatever phrase you have to call somebody who is like a super fan who is loyal to the soil that's me um and i'm gonna find an argument for max holloway it doesn't i don't give a damn if it's max holloway versus francis and i'm gonna find a game plan (laughs) (laughs) i'm gonna find a way my guy like it's possible. Casual, before we actually look at the hard facts, what does your gut tell you? Who are you talking to? Casual. Oh, that's what you calling me? <laughs> that's your name. <laughs> that's, that's the you. first, nigga. What? <laughs> that's your name, casual. <laughs> nah, to the gang, that's who they call me. Nah, I got Max, <laughs> without a doubt. You think Max? All right. Without let's, a let's, doubt. My no uh, an initial inclination... Um, is Max, but let's let's take a look at that the, the 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 hardware and see. If y'all don't know, like Jace, just be on here just trolling all the time. What you mean? All the time, like we can never really trust if what he's saying is like factual. Hey, or if listen, he's just like, listen. And factual. All, all I do is spit gospel. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's start off with. <clears throat> Max Holloway, since all three of us, all three of y'all, um, <laughs> are are leaning towards Max Holloway's resume. Um, one, Max Holloway is a former undisputed champion. Uh, went on a beautiful thirteen fight winning fight. streak in in the featherweight division. Gosh, um, man up. During that time, obviously became a champion defended it three times twice against your boy the the goat featherweight goat jose aldo um Shout out went, to in, Scarface. went inside there took brian ortega's o and taught him how to box in the middle of the fight <laughs> <laughs> then went on to uh face uh who was his defense after that i want to say that it was um your boy Frankie Edgar. It's, it's right in front of you. I don't know if you know. Yeah, this. he defended right against front Frankie. You. He yeah. lost to Dustin between yeah. there, though. But yeah. he challenged himself to go up to 55. Exactly. And, and was in a banger of a fight at that. A banger and, of a fight at and that. And technically, he outstruck him also. Who won? He did. We, we just stayed in facts. He technically outstruck him. I didn't say he won mm. or lost. It's just I a fact. Just, I was asking a question of just who won the fight. Yeah, Dustin won. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I'm Before not losing on the- I'm not shitting on Dustin. I'm just it's a fact. Look at the stats. Max outstruck him. It's a fact. Facts. Um, inside the UFC, he is twenty two wins, seven losses. Jeez. Let's take a look at Dustin. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. No. Okay. Uh what is Max's best win? <sighs> oh um they all know twice. And he beat him damn near the same way both times at the same in the third almost round. the same exact time too. It looks damn near identical. Okay. Scott. Okay. Um, I'm probably gonna go with yeah, he got some great wins too though. He's got a lot I'm probably to choose gonna... from. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie, my favorite Max Holloway fight 
is oh I'm Same. stuck between Brian Ortega and um and Justin Gaethje. Really? But I'm gonna go with Brian. Yeah, I'm gonna go I, with Brian Ortega. I thought you would say uh, Calvin Cater because that was that's what I meant to say actually. Okay, because oh, I'm like okay. that was the fight where people were really starting to 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 doubt Max and oh man, he's lost to Vogue twice. And he gets hit too much. Like that was the narrative going into that fight. It was all just Max has lost the juice. He's been hit too much. He's pump drunk. You know the chin's not there anymore. And then he no one on ever ABC. said the chin wasn't there. Well. I, I, that's what I heard in my circles. The circle jerk. <laughs> the the Jeff Molina band. circle. That's a good band. That's good. <laughs> circle jerks is a good band. Uh, oh, he a fan, he a fan, he a fan. <laughs> no, no, no. He's like, he got um, that head movement like Jeff Molina. It's crazy. <laughs> hey, shout out to Jeff. Um... But yeah, going into that Calvin Cater fight, coming off that second robbery uh, with Alexander Volkanovsky, there was a whole different tone about Max. They were treating him like he was no longer him, like he was going downhill. And Max was fired up about it, went outside there, put on, in my opinion, the best single performance ever. Um, Wow, that's a statement. Who's had a better performance? Oh, man. I mean, there's so many to think of. Yeah, take your time. We'll talk maybe if at the end, you know, we'll take we'll circle back to uh best performance. But I mean as, long as far as just jerked in that circle, we're good. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, I'd probably say Brian Ortega because going into that Brian Ortega fight, if y'all remember leading up to it, Brian Ortega was that guy in the division. He was undefeated, he was running through everybody. They was like, it's T City. Also coming off of the fact that Max Holloway had to pull out of their initial fight in Vegas because that's when he got that water poisoning or whatever type of poisoning that had ended up happening. Um, I know that he left his management and was suing them afterwards, but he had consumed something. But at the time we didn't know that's when he did that interview with, uh, Michael Bisping and they was like, Hey, something is wrong. Like something is happening with him, you know? So you had like this young dude. And then prior to that was the, (laughs) was the, was the issue that happened with Khabib. And him not being able to fight Habib on seven days notice up a division. So people were coming off the weird weight cut and then you had this poisoning and now you're going against this undefeated killer in the division. Everybody was doubting Max Holloway. He came in an underdog at that. Uh, Even Jason and I going into it was a little nervous for Max and he went inside there and pitched the shutout. On a real quick side note, what I was cracking up before, like, how bad do you got to look for a one-eyed m- m- motherfucker to be able to, like, yo, something's wrong here. Like, <laughs> I've got one eye. It's great. What are um, you talking about? Because he did the interview with Bisbing, who has one eye. Oh. And he still could tell that something was wrong with Max. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. Um, I think for me, honestly, um, and this is not a recency bias, I think his best win by far is against Justin. Just because just the 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 doubt going into that, going up back up a weight division where he's only been one time, you know, people were like, dude, Max is like even going into Cater, right? And people the reason you. why I make this argument, everyone. You. The majority of people. Nah, me and Sky was ten toes down. Stop toes. it. Stop oh, it. Oh, no, no, don't say stop it. You stop know it, Sky. Toes. Stop it, Sky. You were fucking nervous. You did Did you or did you not want this fight to be made? Did you or did you not? You're like, I don't want this fight. I don't want no, this no, fight. No, 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 no. I have been on record saying being nervous and being 10 toes down, never have I wavered. Never did I say that he was going to lose. I didn't just say you said he was going to lose. Okay, that's all. I, I didn't let's, say let's that. Be, I'm right. saying you were nervous. Like, oh, my God, I don't want this fight to happen. Of course, yes. So, so to make my argument real fast for the Justin fight, right? Unlike him going into Calvin Cater or even on Ortega, it wasn't a, it wasn't a. Oh my God, I don't like this for Max. It was like, is Max still that dude? Like that was more the narrative, right? This narrative going into Justin was like Max is going to get fucking seriously injured, seriously hurt, and that was the collective air, uh, the the collective for most people. They were saying he was going to turn into Tony Ferguson. The the majority of people, by far, 
was like nervous that Max was going to get seriously hurt in this fight. And obviously, c'est la vie, because, you know, he went and did his fucking thing. I'm glad I predicted that fight accurately. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. What about you, CJ? What's your favorite uh, Max Holloway fight? Favorite fight right now, like Jay said, it might be recessing bias. It might be the um, Gaethje. Because bro was in there just like he was in the Matrix. He was in that flow state. He couldn't be touched. I mean, he got rocked and got dropped. But there was that second round when Gaethje threw like a three-piece combo. He cracked him. Max came back and was firing on him. You know, he to me, I felt like he elevated during that fight. You know, he turned into Jerome in that fight. Big dog hey, right there. Shout out to Jerome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that's one of my... I mean, he got, like like Jay said earlier, he got so many good-ass fights. That fight with him and Yair, amazing fight. Calvin Ooh. Cater fight was an amazing fight. I just watched him fight Brian Ortega again the other day, and he, oh, my God, he was just beating his ass. <laughs> He's crazy. On yeah, style on him. Him beating up Anthony Pettis, that's another good one. Melted him. She melted him. You know, he has such quality, quality wins, man, for being so young. Yeah, great resume. For being so young, and I think a lot of people forget it. his early, early stages. Were like, he was a puppy. He was a puppy. Now he big dog, Max, man. Yeah, that's Jerome. That's Jerome Rome. Shout out to San Diego, if you know. Jerome's. <laughs> um, All right. Yeah, let's take a quick look also at Dustin Poirier's the resume. The diamond. Um, you know, don't ever sleep on your boy. Oh, don't the forget boot boy. We, uh, uh, on Max's resume to BMF also. So undisputed and yes. now BMF also. And interim, yes. And interim. You know. Um, yeah, so then when we go over to Dustin, the diamond Poirier, 22 wins, 8 losses, 1 no contest. Um, with... Former interim champion, right? Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, has lost three times uh, for when fighting for the actual title. Uh, what's his longest win streak? Looks like looks like four. His longest win streak, no. yeah, in the UFC was four. Okay. Mm-hmm. But also With, another guy who got into the game of the UFC early as fuck. Super. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's break down his resume. Let's look at his quality of wins. He has wins over your boy, BSD. Slumped wins him. over your boy, Michael Chandler. <laughs> Chandler's Three. your boy, too? Oh, I fuck with Chandler, for sure. Any all-American white boy, come on. <laughs> Stop You know the vibes? <laughs> you know the vibes? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, you know, two money making wins over uh, Conor McGregor. Mm-hmm. Good win. That war, beautiful, war with Dan beautiful. Hooker. Yeah, that war with Dan Hooker, which was just absolutely, you know, freaking amazing. He has, even though he did lose to Justin Gaethje originally, that fight he was, uh, he did stop Justin. That was a great fight. His fight with Eddie Alvarez was amazing. Crazy. Um, don't skip Max. Don't skip Max. No, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this. <clears throat> He's got two wins over your boy. <laughs> two wins over Max uh-huh. Holloway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's in the mm-hmm. equation. That's how he became interim. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a win on Pettis. Yep. My boy Bobby Green. Mm-hmm. King Bobby. <laughs> Does that say Yair? No, no, that's Yanti Maderos. Oh, yeah, okay. I was like, Yanti was a scrapper back in the day. Mm-hmm. The, 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 uh, what do they call him? The, the Mexican cowboy. Um, yeah. Good so wins, solid wins. So when we take a look at both of their resumes, uh, Max Holloway has eleven KOs, TKOs. Dustin Poirier has eleven. Um, Kate as well. Max has two submissions. Justin has four. Jump the gilly. Uh, Max has nine decisions. Dustin has seven. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So and, they're and- pretty. They're pretty neck and neck. Like like as far as decisions, uh, submissions, and uh, KOs. 
So, so what do we think is his best win? What's what's the diamond's best win? Mm. Um, probably Max Holloway. I was gonna say that mm. at the time for the time. Mm-hmm. But it it ages well still. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because he did beat Max while he did beat Max while Max was the one forty five champion. It was a war. It was a good fight. Um, he became interim off of it, and it was just an overall great performance. Like obviously, you know, I feel like that win, like especially like now with what Max has done really like really shines like the dan hooker fight in the middle of the pandemic was just one of those like just absolute barn burners if you have not go back and watch that fight specifically round number two round number two might be you know top five greatest rounds in mma history fair um it's just it's absolutely insane um and so while that was like a good performance for him dan hooker isn't max holloway so I, I think uh, as well, we should maybe look at this a, a little different perspective of what's their worst loss. Mm. Um, Max Holloway's worst like, loss is is uh, Volkanovski three. What do you mean, like the person or how they lost? I think for me, it kind of all goes into one equation. You know what I mean? Dustin's maybe losing to MJ early on. Mm-hmm. Don't fuck with MJ um, in the first round. <laughs> um, yeah, losing to MJ, he lost to Zombie also. Yeah, but that's also forty five. Dustin too. I think he, you know, he's a lot better at fifty five. Also, and, I wanted to say I would go back to Dustin's. You know, you said his best win is probably Max, but his biggest win is definitely Connor sleeping sure. him and putting putting him down, putting him making him. Yeah, take I him think out. for me that's his his best win. Uh, his best win that yeah. or or even Justin. Like that's that was a war. Dude. That was a war too. Yep. <laughs> like both of these guys are. I think we all agree. Legitimate. Honestly, BMS. I think we should probably be comparing Gaethje and and Dustin together. Uh, because they're both a, uh, interim. They're both interim. They fought each other. They both have a win over each other. You know, Max is solidified. You know, are you it's saying gonna hard, it's not? gonna be. He's never had the undisputed had Justin either, you know. So they're I think they're more neck and neck and they fought at fifty five longer than how Max hasn't, you know. Perhaps for another day, but uh that's yeah. not what's on uh the paper today. I think Max w- runs away with it too easy. I actually disagree. I let think us know why. Dustin has the better r- r- resume. Um I think well for one I gotta put in the equation not one but two head to head victories. Like, that's got to be in the equation, 100% sure. I think as well, um, I think he's had tougher competition. I think his losses are better. You know what I mean? So being uh, the better loser, like Kobe Covington? No, no, listen, better. listen. Like I think I'm sorry, all... is Alex Volkanovsky, was he not ranked pound for pound number one? Were y'all not sucking can, can, him dry? Can I finish cooking? I, you know please what I'm do. Um, I think, again, we. I think we both can agree, like, or all can agree, we're splitting hairs on this. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's really tough to 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 dissect, at least in my opinion. You know, these are two cream of the crop, great fighters. You know what I mean? I just think for me, when you look at the wins and losses, uh, not to mention, you know, Dustin doing it in the toughest division in the sport, um, I just, for me, it holds more uh, work than uh, Max has done. Again, no disrespect to Max at all. Than being an undisputed champion. No disrespect to Max at all. I just think Dustin has the better resume. And also, if we're going head to head also, right, they did fight and they, he did beat him, Dustin did. But there's Twice. also competition where they fought fighters like they fought Zombie, Max beat Zombie and he beat Dustin. Yeah. Uh, Dustin fought Charles and Max beat Charles. Max fought Gaethje and beat Gaethje and he beat Dustin. So it's head to head like you splitting hair. So the thing that gives you the, the upper hand is Max being the undisputed on us. He had a 13 fight win streak. Dustin ain't never. 
Ain't never. Like that. <laughs> he could never. Ain't, uh, I think, I mean, again, we're talking about 155, though. 155 has he way more animals. He started off at 145. 155 yeah, he started has off and he was catching way more animals, animals than 145. I mean, look at, like, you know, that was, yes, it is Charles, right? But that was Charles before Charles became the Charles we know now, right? Like, but did he win, though? But did he win? Excuse me. Um, that I'll, Charles is a different so, Charles than what we currently but, have. But but see that that's the problem right there. If you're always gonna give it to the person who's at one fifty five, that's ridiculous. He Max Holloway fought every single person they put in front of him. He had to go on a twelve fight winning streak. Had to go. I'm sorry, on a ten fight winning streak just to get an interim shot. Mm-hmm. Your boy, your boy Dustin Poirier. Like I said, his longest winning streak is four. Max Holloway was lapping him. Fighting bums. Bums. Bums? What? Now you talking spicy. Now, <laughs> <laughs> now you, you, get, you acting real silly right let's now. Let's look. Fighting bums? Let's look. I'm l- sorry. L- 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 let's break it down. So at the time, Cub Swanson's a bum? Yeah. At the time. He's not that dude. He was never Jeremy that dude. St- Jer- what? Well, Jeremy, so, Stevens, Jeremy Stevens is a definition of a journeyman. He's a definition. Stop at it. At the time. At the time. He's still so at yes. that time, at that time Cub Swanson was a bum? Come on now. Jeremy Anthony Steve Pettis was a, was a bum? Anthony Pettis was a bum? Jose Jeremy. Aldo was a bum? Ricky La- Ricardo Lamas was a bum? Yes. Journeyman at best. Come on. Come on. Journeyman, journeyman at best. The same guy that beat Charles Oliveira, too, though, right? Just the same guy that beat, you know, some people's Top five goat Jose Aldo was a bum. I'm um, no, 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 D- definitely not. Jose is not a bum, not in any aspect. Who, who did who did Dustin beat that is equivalent to Jose Aldo? Uh, I mean, we can break it down. I mean, at the time, you can say Sir? Conor McGregor, you know, because Conor, Conor McGregor fucking slept Jose Aldo. Did he not? Did he not sleep him? Did he not send him packing? He took his so life that night. So you're saying that Conor McGregor is a better overall fighter than Jose Aldo? I didn't say better. You said in the same category. They're I'm, in the same category. No, that, no I'm, that's what I'm asking you. They're in the same category. They're not in the same category to me. Jose Aldo and Conor McGregor are not in the same category. They're Even not though in the he same... literally took his life. Correct. Okay. Fair. They're not in the same category to me. And, that, and I can't stop your So you're opinion. comparing Conor McGregor to Jose Aldo's win. That's who, on Justin's uh, resume, who you're saying is his is his Jose Aldo. I'm, well, I'm saying that's one of them, obviously, right? And then there's just Max Holloway himself twice, right? Then there's Justin Gaethje, right? Now, granted, they both got wins against Justin. But I'm just, uh, people uh, I would equate to Jose Aldo for sure. Is, is Dan sure. Hooker? Is Dan Hooker a bum? If Dan Cub Hooker's is a, a bum, bum, then Dan is a bum. Dan Hooker's not a bum. Dan but Cub is? Never, I, I didn't say Cub was a bum. He well, was just, just never that him. dude. You discredited a man running dude. through a division. He was never that dude. He fought for a title I, in WEZ. What are you talking I, about? I, I would argue, I would argue, well, WEZ was easier to get a title spot. There was only so many. He people. fought Jose Aldo. What are you talking about? I, I would argue that division. Dan Hooker about? and Cub Swanson are literally, like, if we looked at their resumes, very equivalent to each other. But we have to say that for a different pod. <laughs> Y'all, Jace just sat here with a straight face and said that Max Holloway was fighting bums. You fought a lot of bums. Or, oh. Perhaps bums is a little harsh, but not like, holy shit, he's fighting this guy? No. There, there, there's definitely not a lot of that at all. If you break it down, like... No, what you're doing is playing recency bias. No, I'm not. What, you you are. you are. How does somebody run through a division, right, on a 10-fight so winning the, streak. Is that the same thing as fighting Eric Koch, Diego Brandau, Akira mm-hmm. Kawasani? Uh, he fought At the Conor. time, Brandau was a monster. You know that. That's the same thing as saying Cub Swanson. Exactly. What are you talking about? Well, At I'm the time. At the time. And I am agreeing yeah, with Tima you. Yeti Maderos. Like, come I'm on now. I'm agreeing with you. Joseph but, Duffy. But these guys that we're talking Bobby about, Green. right? Bobby Green. Bobby Green, man, that's age At that time well. was not Bobby Green. That's age See, well. are you putting at the time or aging it now? I'm just saying. Because that's the same thing you did with Charles. You're trying to say the Charles of then was not the Charles mm-hmm. of now. 
So is that right. the Bobby Green of then, or is it that the Bobby Green of now? I think Bobby Green's always kind of been the same. One win, thing: win a couple, lose a couple. Win a you couple, know another lose thing. You know another thing that y'all can quit splitting hairs on is that you've never seen Max Holloway knock the fuck out. That's fair. Big facts. We had to help Dustin off the fucking canvas. All right. So when we're putting resumes up, I don't want to hear it. It goes to Max Holloway. It does not go to Max Holloway. It goes to Max Holloway. It does not go to Max Holloway. He's got two wins. He's got two wins against him. He's literally got two wins against him. I don't give a fuck. If we have to help you off the canvas, on to the next, sir. Against him. Hey, show him that shirt you got on right now, CJ. Let them know. Hey, he fought the nigga for this belt and got put to sleep. Max Holloway fought the same guy for the BMF and what he do to him. Style on him. To sleep. Two wins against him. Style I, on him. My final vote, I believe that Dustin the Diamond Poirier has a better resume. He can never. Than Max Holloway. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Just never touching the strap undisputed don't put you in no conversations at all. You can't. You can't. Has he ever won the undisputed belt? It doesn't. That, has he ever won the BMF belt? <laughs> Uh, no, to answer Has he ever won on a 13 fight win streak? BMF nope. belt also. How many times has he been really knocked count. out? How BMF many times has he been knocked out? B- BMF doesn't really count. No, because if he would have won that, it would have counted for you, though, right? No, just exactly. Listen, exactly. Uh, exactly. Wait, 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 wait. Let yeah, me finish. Yeah. The BMF, there's only been what, four BMF fights ever. So, you, yes, I would definitely put it on Max's resume, but it doesn't hold that much weight because we're talking about someone that's been four fights for whatever. Like, Really, yeah, but when but if he would have lost to Justin Gaethje, it would have held. It would have held. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Stop it! He beat the, he he outskilled Justin Gaethje and then put him to sleep. I just wanted to remember that Dustin beat Max twice. Oh, nobody's disputing that. He that beat the holds. puppy that you're talking about that you were talking about the they twenty year old puppies. in they his debut puppies. in they his debut. Puppies. And then he won uh, the interim strap off of him. They both were puppies. And at the end of the day, you've never lifted Max Holloway up off of the canvas. At the end of the day, Max Agreed. Holloway is a defending in, uh, undisputed champion, 13 yeah. fight winning streak, BMF title holder. What are we talking about? So all, have- and off of Jose Aldo. See, it, if, if, yeah. if 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 Dustin could have got that off of Habib, maybe even off of Charles, maybe even off of Islam, we could we could be talking about something. He couldn't. He's second best. So if you had a career to choose from to be yourself, you would want to be Dustin's career? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on now. That's because he Not wanted to be an all American white boy. Yeah. No. No, 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 no. Let me explain. Can I defend myself? Bro, Can I defend be, myself? He wants to be unseasoned so bad. Listen, on the simple fact that Dustin has made more money th- than Max. That's my a lie. Whole, my whole thing, his Max account. is a my champion. Whole, in his bank account. He fought Connor twice. He caught he he fought, he had red panty night twice. Oh my god! When it was what red do, panty night, what do you know? When Max fought account? Connor, right? And we're not talking about that because Connor also beat up not beat up Max, right? Like that's got to be in the equation when you're talking about head to head resumes. You're talking right? about him where, being twenty years where old. Dustin, no, we're not talking about that. Dustin got beat up by that same Connor. What are you talking about? Dustin got beat up by that same Connor. Did he and not got get it finished. Back in got did finished in the first in round. No, 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 no. We going way back. We going back. Black and blood. We going back. Black and blood. All I need. Did he get it? Got back clipped. Blood? Got did clipped. Back when was blood? Max Holloway getting clipped? Did he get it back in blood? It's this is a clear win. It's a clear win for Dustin Poirier. Agreed. Yo, this dude is wild, y'all. This dude is wild. So I guess we should move on to the next topic. We should because go back and forth with y'all. Being losers, but that's fair. It's no different than undis- life. Hey, undisputed champions. Dust is literally the first loser. <laughs> but you know what? That tracks. I mean, he loves he loves Kobe Covington. So I mean, he, he loves lo- losers. He, and he loved them interim ass niggas because he liked Tony too. Inter ass niggas. <laughs> <'Cause you're not laughs> <God. laughs> he loved him a good interim, huh? Hey, <sighs> unlike y'all, you know, I stick with my fighters no matter what. The good coming up shorts. 
I stick with mine no matter what you heard. We the only ones on this pod that stick with us. Stop. That stick it. with our people. Bad. Stop it. Stop Who have I wavered it. on? Okay, let's move. I don't waver on. I don't waver on Max, and I don't waver on Izzy. Along the show. So Max, let's move um, along with the show. One thing that we did see trending um, was a street fight. You know, oftentimes, yes, MMA is. Oh, oh my God! I just noticed something. This is nuts. Okay, I got to make sure I point that out. <laughs> You All said right. you like what? I didn't hear you. <laughs> I like nuts, absolutely. <laughs> Hold on, before um, we jump into that, uh, did y'all see the news? Your boy Cumshot Shamayev talking about he's ready to fight in Abu Dhabi. Stop the fucking presses. No, he wants a title fight. Title? Yes, yeah, sorry. He's ready for a title fight in, uh, in Abu Dhabi. Is there more of an untrustworthy guy in MMA currently than Cumshot Shamayev? Serious question. Paula Costa is like right up under him. Hey, he's fought though. Hey, hey twice. <laughs> he's fought. He's been fighting, so I can't, you can't say it. He's been fighting by hook or crook. He's been in there. I'm oh Alex Perez. Even though he has fought two times recently, but for a long time, your boy had like seven or eight canceled bouts. It was looking grim. Um, yeah, Hamza Shamaya has lost his damn mind. Do 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 you think he deserves a title shot? Next? No, no. He need two more at this two point. Two more. He need two. Okay. All he fought was Usman at 185. He need to fight somebody. He needs to like Yeah, he need two. Casual? Yeah, he needs a couple more fights. I don't think he should get the shot next. I think I hate to say it, but probably either Rob Whitaker. I think Rob and Strickland should fight each other, and whoever wins out of that should fight either DDP or Izzy mm-hmm. from there. I'm gonna and tell you maybe, right now. And maybe yeah. if Ham, uh, out of uh, Rob and Strickland, maybe Hamza could fight one of those dudes. I'm going to tell you right now, the management team from Strickland and Rob should be clamoring to fight Cum Shot. Because obviously, like, for whatever reason, your boy Cum Shot gets what he wants. You know what I mean? Like, like, like Dana loves this dude. So if, I, if, I, if I'm in the corners... The camp of 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 um, Rob or or Sean, and I feel like I can beat Shamaya. I'm like, yo, give me this fight, and then we're gonna announce it. You know what I mean via Twitter, or whatever, like each other as a title eliminator. I think that's the play. Hey, I mean, where's Hamza right now? Hamza's at. Uh... I don't even know why he ranked. Who's uh, number? He's ranked number eleven right now. Yeah, I don't Is even he? know why. Yeah, he's number eleven, so he probably got some other guys he can fight right now. But like nah. Scott said, he's not very trustworthy. To you know, he's always put pause, pause, pause. Mm-hmm. He's always pulling out. Smart. <laughs> um, <clears throat> real quick, so. Oftentimes, we know the MMA is like the closest, quote unquote, to like an actual street fight. One thing that we have seen trending is like who would win in a street fight. Today, this week, we're going to ask the question who would win in a street fight if it were John Jones and Francis Ngannou? In an actual street fight, no yes. holes bars, real nigga shit. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. What you think, Casual? Yeah. What you got, Scott? Uh, I, I would go with. John Jones. The reason why I would go with John Jones is yes, we know that Francis has the power, and you know, there's always a possibility of the power being clipping. But one thing that we know for sure is that majority of street fights end up on the ground, right? And when you're on the ground, there's no cage behind you, there's nobody that's stopping you. Like y'all are on the ground. John Jones <clears throat> taking down Francis and Ganu in the on a concrete. Is going to literally, I'm going to kill you. No, 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 no. Not fight you. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I hey, just. Hey, pussy. I didn't say I would fight you. I you said I would kill, kill you. you. <laughs> For y'all um, casuals out there who don't know, go and watch that fucking DC John Jones video. It never gets old. It brings me much. happiness and joy every fucking time I watch it, 100%. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm going with John Jones on it though. Mm. What about y'all? Yeah, I'm going John too. 
not just because of the fighting ability. I think bro's just he's a diabolical motherfucker, bro. Psycho. He gonna be hitting this dude with bottles, bricks, cans, whatever. He is not gonna fight nice. Also, you know John B. Pauls, he be strapped up. Also, he be running around with that goddamn uh John Wick dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So John ain't gonna fight fair at all. He's gonna be eye gouging, which he already do in the cage. So imagine him out on the street. You know, so and you know, I think Francis is a nicer guy. I had never seen him like turn that switch on to be like like a crazy person. John is yeah. that dude that is just he's he's a fucking psychopath. He's the mm. black Sean Strickland. Yeah, bro. John Strickland whole- Sean Strickland just crazy enough to say the shit out loud. John Jones was still trying to act like he was a good guy. Yeah. Um, Sean Strickland was just like, yeah, I'm outside running, hoping that a homeless man pops off so I can kill him legally. Like, this is what he said on the MMA Hour. This is out of his mouth. You know what I mean? Like, that's some shit that John Jones, I feel like John Jones thinks like that, but he would not ever say something so silly out loud. I don't know if you guys watch The Boys, but John Jones reminds me a lot of Homelander. I do watch The Boys. He reminds me of Homelander a lot. <laughs> Yeah, just, he's just there. <laughs> oh man, the boys on the show. The boys is a phenomenal fucking show, like legitimately phenomenal show. Uh, JC, you got? Um, I don't know, man. I think for me, honestly, I'm gonna say Ngannou in a street fight, man. And I think for me, a couple reasons. By the way, you know, people say like most fights end up, uh, most street fights end up on, on the ground. I don't see those street fights. Really. No, I see someone maybe getting laid out, you know what I'm saying? But not like people like tumbling on the ground. That's just Nah, me. most of the time, if it's a fight, like if it ain't a one-hitter quitter, if, it, if somebody's not paying attention, 90% of the time they be on the ground, rustling yeah. around, grabbing on mm-hmm. each other. Yeah. Um, I think my other things, I guess my, my two points why I would say that Francis Ngannou would win. One, obviously we're talking about fucking power. You know what I'm saying? And you don't have any gloves to hide behind. And in street fight, you can't, you know, you don't see motherfuckers in street fight trying to roll with punches and, you know, like, this ain't doing shit. This ain't doing shit except knocking you the fuck out in a street fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he's going to punch through that. And even just Ngannou fucking clipping you, dude. Oh, my God. Like, he doesn't even have to fully fucking connect. You feel me? Secondly, and kind of what you talked about earlier, Casual, um, you know, about like John Jones being like this dude or like Homelander. Here's the thing about uh, Nganu, right? I don't know you talking about him being a nice guy. John Jones, as I understand it, again, I don't know too, too much about him. Like, he grew up in like a decent house, a decent home. You know what I'm saying? Like, something I've learned internationally travels, there's a difference between being from the streets and being from the streets. You know what I'm saying? So I, everyone who's ever heard uh, your boy Nganu's fucking interview, fucking tear-jerking interview on fucking Joe Rogan, like, your boy grew up in poverty, a level of poverty, a level of being poor that no one here in America can really fucking talk about. So I think, like, he got them demons in him, man. Like, if you from somewhere, yeah, you might suppress him, put on a smiley face, but, like, that dog, you know what I'm saying? Like where you from? From that shit never fucking leaves. That's yeah. That's a good point. It's also a thing where he literally has the will to live. When dude, I just seen that when he was talking about that story. He was like, "Yeah, man, I was in the ocean for like six days on a raft, and like having to be in the water." He said he liked being in the ocean more than in, in the desert walking. So he literally has the the will to live. But like you were saying too, John. I think he's literally one of those sociopaths, psychopaths. He has this crazy thoughts in his head all day long, just like wanting to beat on somebody like that. Jace. Wanting to beat his wife on. again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> ah. too soon? Uh, <laughs> Jace, too soon? L- let's go back to uh, him with the, with the big-ass kickboxer. No. Don't hold him back. Don't hold him back. That I dude was bigger than Francis. Don't hold him back. Listen, Francis throws one loopy ass crazy Jarzinho Rosenstrike uh hook and John Jones is taking that man down and murdering him. But th- okay, that's a great point, right? That was for me that was the scariest version of Francis Ngannou I ever seen. It was fight, he ran almost fucking full <laughs> speed over and just 
and ah! literally punched through that nigga, bro. Like that was that's that's a, a, a fucking scary that's a scary ass clip to watch of him just going full speed and again i just gotta touch you i just gotta touch you and it's a wrap ah. um hey fact shout out to michael jackson um i don't know man it's just crazy <laughs> it's crazy it's crazy to think about um, i hope these boys you know never ever bring it to the streets you know what i'm saying because someone is going to get seriously hurt and probably killed I have a question. Well, before you had got on and before we uh, quickly, quickly take a look at this weekend's card, um, we were looking at um, oh, Verna Jean de Rober, however you say her name. And like this thought popped inside my head. I mean, she is by far, you know, top two, and she's Come not on. two <laughs> ugliest uh, female fighters in the UFC ever, by far. Oh, real quick, before I go off on this, CJ. I don't know what if you seen the pod last week, but your boy Jace said that Jillian Roberts oh, was yeah. was ranked higher than Tracy Cortez with a serious face. I said you they're like, neck and neck. You like pancakes? That's all it is. You cannot you put really, these two in the like same. The that's crazy. Flapjacks. Yeah. <laughs> Flapjacks. It's all good. She got some cake. No, she don't. Oh my Brother, god. You like the mayonnaise? It's all right. Jillian. Bro. And, and oh. Tracy are not in the same. They not like <laughs> us. <laughs> they not like us. <laughs> can, can we go ahead and say how beautiful like this main event is? No, 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 right. no. Real quick, real quick. Verna, back to Verna. She is yes. top two, and she's wait, wait, not wait. two ugliest females ever to step inside of the UFC. Ooh. But my question is, who do you think is <laughs> uglier, her or um, Raul Rosas? So it's funny that you bring that up. On, wait, 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 wait. It's funny that you bring that up because I think it's beautiful in sports when families get to play together. Actually, is it the Lakers? We got Bronny and LeBron. And now you got Verna, you know, and her son, Rosa. Like, they, they both fight in the UFC. Like, it's a beautiful thing that it's a family affair. They both fight in the UFC. I think it's, I think it's great. Mom, son, fighting. Like, that's, that's a beautiful thing. It's it's rough out here. It is definitely uh, rough. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know what just <laughs> popped in my head? That clip. If y'all haven't seen it, please go watch it. Of your boy Dana used to be a wild boy, but when he's on like at the medium scrum talking about um, <laughs> the fact that at the time he felt like Chris Cyborg, Cyborg. looked like Vanderlei Silva in a dress. <laughs> Have y'all seen that clip? And he's just like, go look, go look. And the facial expressions <laughs> that he's making is crazy. Can we go ahead and um, show this, uh, the, the the card again, like big of them two standing, like the, the poster of them? Like, Bro. come on, man. Come <laughs> on, man. Like, 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 why did UFC do her dirty like that? Hey, man? but guess what? Guess what? As, as CJ and I found out before the pod started, this is a married woman. Some of y'all ain't even hey. sniffed. Some of y'all ain't even sniffed uh, poom poom in your poom, life. Poom, bad girl. Yeah. 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 They be running around here, ain't never touched no kitty in their life, and they probably never will. And, they, and that's why y'all hate women in the That's why y'all hate. That. She Somebody can look like that, that and still be getting more than you. And that's mm -hmm. great. That's why y'all incels is really upset. Somebody's in there, like, face to face fucking. Like, that's why. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Um, real quick look at this weekend's card. It's oh, got to be the worst. It's got to be the worst in On recent paper, history. the worst card I've ever seen in my life. What I that meant is, to say, that's what I had crazy. earlier <laughs> when I had looked over and I was like, what the hell? Because I didn't realize it. Why are they putting this on ABC? Oh, it's an ABC card? That's what I just realized. This is ABC and ESPN, the network. No. It's no right way. here. ABC, ESPN, and ESPN Plus. All three. Wow. They're it's putting on, this card. Yeah, it starts at um, 5, 5 o'clock our time, Pacific. The main card does. So um, the prelim start at 2 p.m. Pacific. Hey, it's that time of year, man. It's that time of year in sports where people are just trying to give something to people. You know what I mean? Uh, because there's this no NFL, it. there's no basketball, the, the the Olympics ain't here yet. That's wild, man. That's 
wild yeah. they put that on ABC. This All right. Is... Uh, are we done talking about the um, card already? <laughs> uh, j- no, but we are going to give our top three picks. I know you don't want to, but we are because that's what we do. Um, okay. I'm going to go... <sighs> Somebody... I'm going to go Steve Garcia, Iron Turtle, and um, Verna, John Garoba. Mm, I'm kind of torn with that one. I'm going Steve, too. I'm going Turtle. I don't know who I'm going for right now. I'm, I'm going to go Lemos. I'm going to go Lemos. No, 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 no. I'm going to go Jeroba because she just be grinding it out. Making yeah, it I remember her last fight. She was just taking Shardy down and just doing whatever yeah. she wanted. Yeah. Mm. So that's another thing. It's going to be boring, too. And I don't yeah. complain about cards. I don't never complain. But this one, I've been like, bro, what was they? I seen them at the headline. I said, what made them think about that one? Like, come on now. I'm like, fuck. Uh, this is one of them cards where they could have just not had a card on for the week. And we would have been okay with it. Facts. Because they would have been are, going into 304. We could have took a week off. They could have just been having hella promos and all of that going on. And we could have just took a week off. Like, why did, why did they give us this shit? I will actually, for you know, once agree with uh, Casual. He does not complain about cards. I will give him that. Uh, <laughs> this and if if I'm tripping on this one, then you know this is. <laughs> Are you gonna watch? Uh, depending on if I got something to do. Like I'm not gonna go out my way and be like, "Yo, I'm gonna get home." If I'm out and about, I, I'm not even gonna turn it on my phone. I can watch it on a Sunday if something. Is crazy Jake happens. Paul in them this weekend? I believe so. I think so. I seen they were doing um press conferences. Uh go ahead and oh, give yeah. your three picks. Um can I see the top three? Can can you scroll down? Yeah. All right. We're gonna go with uh Chow. We're gonna go with the ultimate gatekeeper Brad Tavares. And oh god, who cares? Amanda, just because I like the name. Amanda. Um, okay, cool. I think it looks like the Paul card is this weekend. Um, which that's your boy. How many? How many rounds they doing? I have no idea. I have no idea. Wait, I'm trying to confirm that it is. I think this it's. I, I think it's ten rounds. No. Ten rounds. Oh, oh no 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 no. Yeah yeah, because it's a fight. It's not bare knuckle. No one's yeah. stupid enough to fight Mike Perry in bare knuckle. Uh. <laughs> hey, you and your you boys. Saw, you said you said you had a uh, Jake winning, right? Me. Me. He, uh, Jake. <laughs> Both of us. Me. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. This is a boxing match. I think Jake pieces him the fuck up. Uh, but if you haven't watched your head-to-head interview today, fucking hilarious. Go check it out. I had it on I in the background. I was cracking up. Yeah, I didn't watch it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll probably watch that over, um, yeah. over this. I don't think they'll be on at the same time. Like they try not to typically, uh, you know, go on at the same time. But um, I do. Amanda Serrano's fighting. I'll have to see Amanda. I mean, there's really nobody on it I really want to see. Your boy Uriah Hall is taking on uh, Julio Silva Chavez. So, oh, wow. That's Junior, obviously. Hey, uh, mm-hmm. Before we get out of here, there's something that has actually been on my mind and heart, and I got to talk about it. Oh, god. Love to hear your thoughts. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> listen, Go ahead. Sit back, relax, and listen to greatness. This whole thing about the UFC being about their fans, you know what I mean, and putting on the fights and shit that people want, it's got to fucking end. Because it's not true, right? It's a corporation. They're only concerned about their shareholders and their money. The simple fact, and, and what made this come to a fucking pimple's head, was them doing UFC... Noche with only 10 fucking fights. And you're talking about these astronomical prices that they're going to be charging people to get in there. And like you look at the fights now that's already been booked and you're going like, 
okay, so if it's only 10 fights, then this is going to be a UFC 103 or 300 thing. This is going to be a UFC 299 thing of just, just bangers, bro. And you're looking at a lot of it's like, yeah, it's a lot of what they got so far, so far I've seen, yeah. is fight night equivalent. Can you bring that up real fast, guy? Literally yeah. fight night equivalent, right? Dana White, you know, for all the years, when people are like, hey, like, why don't you, you know, they do any co-promotions? Oh, we don't co-promote. We don't co-promote. We're the brand. Now, granted, <laughs> the co-promotion is not against someone who's going against the UFC, right? But you're still co-promoting. You know what I mean? So for me, all this bullshit, oh, we care about the fans, care about the fans. No, you don't. You care about making money, right? Because my main thing is the only reason why they're putting 10 fighters on there is because they want to get money. They're trying to make more money. They want to be able to say, oh, you know, this is what we cleared on this because they're 17 million down, which also doesn't make any sense. If you have to buy all this equipment and shit like that, that's costing you at least 17, if not more money. Why wouldn't you use it again? You already bought it. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 what's the hold up? You know what I'm saying? But this whole thing about them only having 10 fights, it's just fucking buck wild to me. You got that ready, Scott? I do. Um, so currently on here, we have Anthony Hernandez, Michelle Pereira. Um, Solid fight. Arena Aldana versus Normal Dumont. Uh, Yugiri versus Ketlin Salza. Uh, Ignacio Baja Mendez versus Manuel Torres. Uh, Kevin uh, Borjas. 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 Okay. Versus Edgar Chavez. Is that the dude that walk out with the bullets? <laughs> yep. I like yep. that dude. And then yeah, O'Day versus uh, Luis, Luis Rodriguez. This yeah, is O'Day one, two, again. three, four, Shit. five, six. This is six fights. We know that they're going to have um, Valentina oh, no. and uh, Valentina versus. Um, I don't know why Grasso. my mind versus Grasso, right? Because that is the the last Mexican champion right now, currently. All right, so that's seven. We know Diego Lopez is gonna be on here, so that's eight. And then there are Dan rumors. Ige. Dan Ige. Dan Ige wants to be on here. That can't be possible because that would be ten. So I think his numbers is off. But if they don't put Dan Ige on here, right? You, they're rumored to be trying to put. Uh, Sean O'Malley versus Marab on here. So that's who the fuck would headline this. Listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. The way that the UFC is trying to juice up Sean O'Malley is blowing my fucking mind. There, in my opinion, right now, as far as active champions and active people, there's no bigger fight that you can put on for a championship than Max Holloway versus Ilya Teporia. That should be headlining the spear. Sean O'Malley versus Marab should not be headlining the spear at all. Doesn't even make sense. Neither one of them are, are Mexican. Even though Sean's daughter, Sean has a, a daughter who's Mexican. Are you sure because- Marab is not Mexican? 100%. <laughs> But he's uh, we, we, we adopted him, though. We adopted him. <laughs> yeah. but, but, but you have this big car that you've already spent $17 millions on, so much that you had to go and get the Saudis to come through and, and, and put some money in on it. And y'all going to have Sean O'Malley headline it? Y'all see what they did at 299 They had to stack that bitch so high just to try to make it. Sean is not that dude. Like, what the fuck? You think uh, that Sean versus Marab is a bigger fight than Max versus uh, Taporia, uh, Jace, as you were giving me the thumbs down? The thumbs down was not for that. The thumbs down was saying that Max and Ely is not the biggest championship fight. It's Alex and John Jones. That's, but, but, that's the but biggest John championship Jones, I said fight. active. I said active champions. John Jones is not active. He has an Fair. interim t- uh, title uh, champion in his division right now. Fair. Avi, Alex, and John would be the biggest. But aside from that, John Max versus uh, Ilya is the, is the biggest championship fight to make right now, and you're gonna put Marab and and Sean O'Malley at the top, and, and send and send the and, and send the 145 title shot to Salt Lake City. Again, I'm not disputing. You know, uh, I just think it's wild. A what you said, like I don't know why they keep trying to make Sean that guy. He's not that guy. You know, he's just not that guy. He just doesn't have it. On paper, you know, kind of like your man Jalen Turner. On paper, like, it's everything you want. 
You know what I mean? He speaks English, you know, crazy hair, weird style, always, you know what I mean? Loud, obnoxious, you know, tight. But you hear him talk and it's just like, I just, I don't know. Is it the tone? Is it the diction of his voice? If it's what he's saying, I just instantly don't care as soon as he starts talking. This is a fight night at best. Ten fights this, only. This this wow. this fight night is worse. Is doesn't look as good as last year. Last year's car was lit. Yeah, it was lit. It was turned up last year. You got any up. thoughts on the casual? No, nah, I don't think uh, they will put um, Max and Illy on there because people are like, oh, it'll be insensitive if they have a Spaniard on there. Why? Um, you know how it is because of the no, Mexican I, honestly, I day. don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because of that Mexican independence. And uh, it's just some dumb shit people been saying around. Um, I'm okay with having Sean and Marab on there, Grosso on there. But I don't, the 10 fights is kind of whack to me. Y'all. We usually, we usually have 15 every weekend. Look at UFC Noche, UFC Noche last year. Grosso Shevchenko, Holland Jack Della, Raul Rosas, uh, Terrence Mitchell. Daniel Zellhuber. Oh, he could fight. Zell Hoover. Yes. Um, Daniel Padilla, man, he should have been on Oh, that, that was um, a good fight. Oh, my God, yeah. that was a fight. You know what I mean? Lupe going in there, big dog and all, at least. Uh, the, the Russian Chase Hooper. <laughs> Edgar was on there. This fight right man, here was a banger. Tracy Cortez was on there. Come on, look at this. Compared to what we now have for uh, a pay-per-view, 306. Supposed to be have a they... love letter to the Mexican people. They have, have they, not given ticket prices. Okay, because I just want to see what the ticket prices are. And I'm I thinking as MMA fans, as MMA fans, who's paying for only 10 fights? That, again, it's not, like, it's not like you're starting off UFC 300. Saturday. You're not starting off Figgy banger, against banger, Cody. Banger, 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 yeah. banger. And like we get a Yair and, and Brandon Moreno on the card. Yeah, it's not like, or even like a UFC at like 291. Last year, Salt Lake City, where you're just going, oh yeah. shit! It's like, like, like from Jump Street, like y'all coming with some lame ass shit, man. Like, I did, hashtag disappointed. Just saying. Yeah. It can't be ten. Cannot be. He can't says be. it's gonna be ten. It's only gonna be ten. I don't care what he says. Hey, Switch it that out. Sound, that sound like UFC 1998, right? <laughs> 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 like they, when they had the same guys fighting over and over, it's like, man, that sucks. Ten fights. On a quick side note, the other day, I don't know why I watched. Um, it was on. It just came in my YouTube stream. I watched Randy against Chuck for the first time, where Randy beat Chuck, and I'm just like. These guys are fucking terrible. Like, if you go back and watch it, like, just the punches, looping ass punch. I'm like watching, like, these motherfuckers will get pieced up by mids at best. Like, not even yeah. like guys ranked outside the top fifteen. Go back and watch Chuck, who was, you know, that dude for years. Him and Randy, he's just like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> This is like Brother, watching, like, ooh, ooh. yeah, it's like, well, you know, when they say, like, Wilt Chamberlain was going up against, like, plumbers and shit. Like, I'm just like, damn, dog. Like, I could have played in the NBA in, like, 64. You know what I'm nah, saying? Nah. They would have cleared you. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. They would have cleared you. Stop playing with me. That's just crazy. <laughs> Hey, but on some real shit, like back in the day, uh, Jason and I would run two on twos all the time. We was clearing the board with people. Only lost once ever. Only lost once. Hey, the that's why worst you gotta take your... person to lose to as well. Ugh. Oh my god, losing to your other sibling is just horrible. It's horrible. It just ruins your fucking life. <laughs> you think about it all, all life. That's all you can do is think about. I think oh. about that every day. With that being said, we'll definitely be back next week. Next week, we got uh, no other than your boy, Balaam Muhammad. <laughs> oh, man. Right? God. What's his name? What's his name? Finally oh, getting the title God. shot. Let's Ugh. go. It's going to be Stop lit it. next week. But until then, make sure y'all come back. We are out. Peace. Peace. Damn, Balaam Muhammad. He finally got his shot. <laughs> Hey, watch this dude pop up with an injury. Toe. Could you imagine? I was just going to oh, say, he stubs his toe. Hey, hey that you got to see it through. Be, hey, hey, no more shots for you, my boy. Hey, you got to see it, it through. Up. You got to yeah. come inside there with a broken toe. Facts. Big facts. Yeah. Because you, you ain't never going to get a shot again. At all.
Let's hope it doesn't happen. Whenever I want Bilal to win. Again. Do you really want Bilal to win, Sky? I do. Why? I don't I think don't. he's gonna win, but I want him to yeah. because be I, I I want to go crazy. <laughs> yeah, I want to wanna go crazy on the internet. Oh my god! I'm oh. like that too. I, I I want Leon to win, but I want Bilal to win too. Just on some yeah, like yeah, knock him out. <laughs> him going and knocking out Leon would be hilarious. Y'all would y'all would be in y'all feelings. All y'all MMA uh, experts. We're not. Now y'all, gotta, now y'all niggas got to deal with him. Right. <laughs> yeah, I got to deal with Bilal the champion. <laughs> But did he, he win? No. He shows up every every press conference. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. Uh, oh sir, God. Uh, we got it. that um, guy. Who's this guy? Yeah. Who, else, uh, who, who the is fuck this? is we? <laughs> Shout out to Dustin. Listen, tweet of the year, Sky. Uh, who the fuck is we?